Hi Church, the daily prayer topic for day seven is a renewed passion for prayer and the Word of God. In Psalm 119, 105, it says, Your Word is a lamp to guide my feet and a light for my path. I remember when the Word of Christ became a living, breathing text for me. I was 15 and I had accepted Christ into my life, but the Bible felt like this big, overwhelming book that I had to get from the start to the end on. I had some understanding of the Bible and I'd grown up knowing the classic Bible stories, but I knew that there was more to it than that. So I prayed that I would have a passion to read His Word and that the Word would become clear. He answered my prayer. It did. It really came alive for me. It grew my relationship with God and my faith grew. I wanted to learn and to understand more about His Word, get it into me, so to speak. It also grew, grew my prayer life. I was now communing with God, wanting to spend time with Him in prayer. I went from uh, three times a day saying, thank you Lord for my food and for asking for personal needs to wanting to pray into things that mattered more outside my life. I started having a space that I prayed, a, a time where it was just me and Him. I also started to pray throughout the day. It wasn't just these set times that I had to pray. It was so revelational for me. I just, yeah, prayer and the Word just came so alive. At that time uh, where I started to really pray, I had a half an hour drive to work. So that's where I started to pray. I had an hour a day. It was awesome. I'd listen to podcasts, read audiobook of the Bible, uh, listen to audiobook of the Bible, and I'd pray. And in other seasons, it's looked like having space early in the morning or late at night. And now that I have a kid, it's anywhere I can find it. So my encouragement is find a time, carve out space in your day to pray, to read your word. Your life will be so much better for it. In 1 Thessalonians 5.17, it says, never stop praying. Or in other versions, it says, pray constantly. Church, as we end uh, seven days of prayer and fasting, my encouragement to you is pray constantly. Keep reading your word. Don't just stop here in this time where we've been really devoted in the word. Create that habit. Your life will be so much better for it.